Well, me and Chase were mushroom hunting Saturday. There was something that just wasn't making any sense. All of our usual patches weren't producing, but maybe one or two, but we were finding just random mushrooms through the woods. So this evening after work here, I'm out here, I was gonna check one of our black patches and I decided to just zigzag through the woods here a little bit and see if I can find anything. And I'll be darned, I'm seeing yellow mushrooms under one of our deer stands in a spot I have never found a mushroom before. I can see at least seven from where I'm standing here, so that's good. Here's the first one I stumbled on. And then I looked over here. It's number two. And then I see number three. There's four. Five. Six, seven, eight. And there's more back there. <laughs> Sweet. Nice, healthy yellow morels. I guess it's just going to be one of those years where you just got to go look. Oh, there's another nice one back here. Just got to think outside the box this year. Oh, man, I'm still seeing them. Oh, oh, I need to get the bag out. It's hiding right under them apples. And there's another one. That's 13. And I know there's a couple on the other side of that maple tree there. Side of maple and some honeysuckle. Who knows why, but I will take them. Hey little fella, that's my mushroom. Well, that's, that's probably about a pound right there. I think there was 16 or so. And, like I said, a spot I've never found a mushroom at before. In fact, we had never found a yellow morel in this woods until probably about four years ago. About a hundred yards away over there, we found some. And just for a couple years, we found them, and then never again. This is where we usually find the black ones at early in the year. But, I guess if I was going to give advice this year, it's just start walking. Hit the woods and look, because you never know where they're going to be. Well, I made it over here to the black patch, and I think the black ones might be just about done. I, we've really picked this place over this year. I don't know how many we've picked out of here, but anyhow, I'm just standing here looking up the hill, and I see a decent yellow one up there on the hill. Hey, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Any more? Well, just to add to the confusion of 2014, there's a nice black one. Yeah, I guess it's a little dry. That's one that Chase missed, I guess. There's another one. Those black ones can be hard to find. That one's been there a while. Oh, there's a better one. Dry, but nice size. And there's one that's been stepped on, Chase. Poor thing, look at that. That was a pretty nice one, too. Well, it looks like 
any black morels I find are going to be pretty dried up, so I'm going to call them done for the year here in Greene County, Indiana. I think what I'll do, I'll just zigzag through this woods, get out of here, see if I can find any more. No point walking around on my hands and knees looking for the black ones when the big yellows are up that you can stumble over. So, hopefully I'll run across another patch on the way out of here. Big old dead snapping turtle. It's the second big snapping turtle I've seen dead in this pond. I don't know if it's a snapping turtle graveyard or what. Well, when I'm out hunting morels like I am right now, instead of just picking them at patches, I try to just walk a steady pace, zigzag pattern, and just swing my eyes back and forth. Once you've picked enough morels, your eyes can find them pretty easily. But, I'm just about to the end of the woods and I haven't found any more. But I am very happy to have what I have right here. I didn't even get out until after the evening news, about 7 o'clock or so. And I really wasn't expecting much.